tourism had picked up in this area. We are doing very well with many visitors coming to Pagoya Wildlife Reserve until COVID set in. When COVID set in, of course, it was crippled and slowed down. We have a number of tourism activities here. One of them is sport hunting. Sport hunting is one of the activities we have in this Kawaii Wildlife Reserve. And when we talk of sport hunting, that's when we identify old male animals that you pay as a visitor, you kill and take the trophy. The trophy, those are the horns and the what. We don't kill mothers. We kill old male animals. Because the population of animals have increased, unlike in the past during the war times, so we are able now to take visitors around and they view the thousands of Uganda cops, which are now around 7,000 in number. In this small area, by the way, of 87 square kilometers. The COVID-19 has increased poaching, lockdown increased poaching, but we are in charge. We are trying to make sure we do what? We protect our resources. So the visitors, when they come, they can get these resources. It is still the same fee for the locals and the, the foreigners. We have not subsidized it for the locals yet, but uh, um, we hope in future with more engagement with the, our uh, leaders in the Kampala, uh, with continuing pressure from local visitors who want also to do uh, sport hunting, <laughs> We shall have a breakthrough possibly to subsidize or to reduce on the cost for those who are locals. That is different from the foreigners or the international visitors. Percentage that goes to the district, there's a percentage that goes to the Community Wildlife Association. In the uh, that border, that association is from sub counties that border the uh, Kawoya Wildlife Reserve. Like, for example, here we have Buseruka, we have uh, Buseruka in Hoima, we have Kavale in Hoima, we have Changwari in Chukube. These sub counties get a percentage from that fee that is paid from uh, or trophy, I mean, or sport hunting. Um, in addition to that, we do a census. We carry out surveys to establish the population 
of the animals before we do spot hunting or before we kill those old uh, males. So we, I think it is 2%, yes, 2% of the population is what we normally target. And then the 8% of the population remains free to multiply. Yeah? So we are not finishing animals. We target a very small percentage basing on scientific uh, surveys or census that have been carried out before we do spot hunting. My name is Mugeni Robert Charles, Operations Manager like Albert Safaris, and a professional hunter. Uh, we do spot hunting on Kaboya conservation area. Uh, we hunt animals like buffalo, uh, waterbuck, warthog, oribi, uh, bushbuck, and others. Uh, we have more than one concession in the country. Um, but currently, we also operate a lodge on the concession. We do spot fishing as well. Uh, currently, we are not very busy because of the COVID problems. You know, it has affected everybody in the tourism industry. Uh, we contribute a lot uh, towards the Ugandan economy because uh, the animals hunted, there is a fair that is generated, that is shared among the Uganda Wildlife Authority, the community association, the Wildlife Community Association, and the district, uh, the districts in different ratios. In, in a year, we generate more than twenty thousand US dollars for this concession, and um, uh, this year uh, we had some issues with the COVID which greatly affected the performance of the activity on the concession. We also pioneer the ant poaching on the concession because we have uh, seven of our wildlife scouts who are ever doing patrols every day on the concession, collecting snares and uh, running after poachers. We have arrested several po many poachers this year, and more especially when the lockdown started, you know, these fishermen were the lake, they, were, they had closed it and everything, so uh, there were a lot of poachers, so the boys did a very recommendable job, and some of them have been uh, sentenced to prison, the poachers, and we have many, actually more than three bags, or more than 2,000 wires we have collected, that all this has saved the wildlife. That explains the bigger number of populations of wildlife you see on Kaboya Wildlife Reserve. Well, the packages we have, uh, we, we do buffalo, buffalo hunting, uh, in the package, we can give you a package and then they include a buffalo or a bushbuck. It depends on the client's uh, interest. Some clients are collectors, uh, so they come for the specific species because like a Uganda cob, you can only get it in Uganda. So basically it depends on the, on the choice of the animal that the client likes to take. The prices uh, are determined apart from there is some money you pay to extra to the company, but the trophy fees that are paid. Those ones are, are a must before the client exports his trophies. For a buffalo, is $1,800. Uh, 
a water bark is $800, a bushy bark is $600, an oribi is $400, and a daika is $200. These uh, figures vary with different concessions. We are trying as Lake Albert to negotiate with the uh, Uganda Wildlife Authority to promote uh, local hunting because on the on the concession we have so many Uganda cops and you know when the animals become too many in, a, in an area you know all the problems they come with in breeding etc so we feel it would be it's like a, a resource that we can utilize as a country and then the Ugandans also benefit because the Ugandans want to do, spend their leisure on hunting so it's something that is being worked on with Uganda Wildlife Authority maybe with time we shall have a fair rate for the Ugandans as well.